Baby Bus. Let's go, Sheriff Labrador. <laughs> Security operation for a Millennium Pearl, Part Eight. <laughs> no one is going to steal my pearl. <laughs> Ziggy the Zebra stood on stage clutching the Millennium Pearl firmly in his hands as the museum was in complete chaos. Out of the darkness came a strong, reliable voice. Calm down, guys. To prevent a stampede, please stay in your seats and do not move around. Oh, it's Sheriff Labrador. Oh, 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 sure thanks, Sheriff Labrador. Yes. Let's follow Sheriff Labrador's instructions. Don't move around. The animals gradually quieted down. A beam of piercing light flashed behind Sheriff Labrador's eyes in the darkness. A sudden power outage is not possible at the museum. I'm afraid something is amiss. Dobie, go check the power distribution room. Hey, now, got it. All the lights suddenly came on in the hall. The animals rubbed their eyes. Now. Whoa, the power's back on. Thank goodness. Oh, oh and Molly, oh. I was a little worried. At that very moment, horrible screaming came from the stage. Uh, what is this? What's wrong? The animals looked in the direction of the screams and saw Ziggy the zebra holding not the Millennium Pearl, but a round cabbage in his hands. How did my beauty's tear turn into a cabbage? Where is my beauty's tear? Who stole my beauty's tear? Ah! <laughs> Ziggy the zebra fainted from anxiety. Quick, get Mr. Ziggy to the hospital. Hey now, hey now, I'm on it. Sheriff Labrador's dark round eyes sharply surveyed the scene. The beauty's tear is much bigger than a normal pearl and it's not easy to transport. So the pearl thief couldn't have gotten far. It's likely that he's still in the hall right now. Sheriff Labrador immediately called Officer Doberman over the intercom. Doby, lock down all entrances to the museum now. Nobody leaves. Copy that. Tension filled the museum. Sheriff Labrador's piercing gaze fell upon each of the animals as they waved their hands violently in innocence, their eyes wide like saucers. No, 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 no. It wasn't me. I didn't do that. The beauty's tear is too big. There's no way I could carry it. Oh, it wasn't me either. It was dark just now. I, I didn't see anything. Meanwhile, a cleaner with a hat pulled down low over his face pushed a janitorial cart along in an obscure corner of the hall. He picked banana peels from the floor and tossed them into the blue container on the cart. His action aroused the suspicions of Sheriff Labrador. Recycling bins? Then his dark, round eyes suddenly glistened. Sheriff Labrador stepped forward at once and stopped him. Wait a minute. The cleaner stopped and smiled kindly. <laughs> what, what can I do for you, Sheriff Labrador? I just saw you throw banana peels into the blue container. Uh, yes, that's my job. <laughs> but banana peels are food waste and are not recyclable. So they shouldn't be thrown into the blue one, which is for traditional recyclables. Banana peels should be thrown into the green one. The cleaner turned pale after hearing what Sheriff Labrador said. Oh, oh I, I have such a poor memory. My, uh, my mistake, my mistake. Uh, <laughs> Sheriff Labrador pointed to the waste containers on the garbage cart. Then can I check the containers? Before Sheriff Labrador could touch any of the waste containers, the cleaner pushed the cart towards the door in a hurried manner. <laughs> Out of my way! No one's gonna stop me today! The cleaner was in fact Red Mantle the Chinchilla. Red Mantle the Chinchilla shot out of the entrance like an arrow, but he was stunned by the scene outside the museum, where Officer Doberman and a group of police officers who were waiting for him approached and surrounded him. Hey now, there's nowhere to run! Ah, drat! When Red Mantle the Chinchilla turned around, Sheriff Labrador had caught up with him. Give yourself up, Red Mantle. First, you snuck into the power distribution room and flipped the breakers, causing this power outage. And then, when the museum was pitch dark, you quickly stole the beauty's tear from the stage. 
However, since this pearl is too large to take out of the museum in your hands, you disguised yourself as a cleaner, hid it in the waste container, and then waited to sneak out. Am I right? Stop! Stay back! If you come any closer, I'll... I'll... Red Mantle, the chinchilla, begins grinding his teeth. Then, to everyone's surprise, he suddenly scurried into a waste container and refused to come huh? out. <laughs> it took me years to find the beauty's tear, and I'm not going to let it go. <laughs> <laughs> Sheriff Labrador and Officer Doberman had no other choice but to work together to lift the waste container off the janitorial cart. Red Mantle, you are suspected of theft. Come with us to the police station. In the hospital ward, Ziggy the zebra finally woke up after passing out. He opened his mouth wide and started bawling his eyes out. <laughs> my millennium pearl! My precious treasure! <laughs> oh, calm down, Mr. Ziggy. Sheriff Labrador helped you recover the pearl. I'm not gonna calm down! I'm heartbroken! Someone stole my pearl! Now I'm poor again! <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what did you say? My pearl? Hey now, Mr. Ziggy, here's your pearl. Sheriff Labrador and Officer Doberman walked into the ward holding the Millennium Pearl. That just made Mr. Ziggy cry even louder. <laughs> Thank you, Sheriff Labrador! Thank you, Officer Doberman! You two are the most reliable cops in Forestville! <laughs> You're, You're welcome! welcome. <laughs> <laughs>